the man who worked for the criminal conviction of former President Joseph Estrada, is now working with the prosecution panel to convict Chief Justice Renato Corona. He is lawyer Dennis Villa Ignacio. So today they're asking now if I could also give in some pointers. Sabi ko, why not? After all, nung uh, merong impeachment kay Ombudsman Gutierrez, eh, tumulong naman. A special prosecutor of the Office of the Ombudsman, Villa Ignacio led the 4.1 billion peso plunder case filed against Estrada a few months after the former president's aborted impeachment trial and his ouster in 2001. The Sandigan Bayan convicted Estrada in September 2007, but former President Arroyo granted him pardon one month later. The plunder case against Estrada, says Villa Ignacio, is criminal in nature, unlike the present impeachment trial. Ang depensa, ano naman yan, i-expect mo na pahihirapang mabuti ang prosecution. I would know because I've been there. So give it to them. They will try all the tricks uh, available to uh, serve the interest of their client. You know? Pero hindi totoong proof beyond reasonable doubt. The prosecution panel, which has received flack for appearing unprepared, welcomes his addition to the team. He has a very good litigation practice. You know? He's very valuable. Uh, he volunteered his services to help in uh, prosecuting this case. They would be giving advice. But there's one sticky problem. There are concerns about how Villa Ignacio's being part of the prosecution team will sit with Senator Juror Jingoy Estrada, the son of the former president he helped convict. Long before Estrada's plunder case, Villa Ignacio also helped in the rebellion case against then-Defense Secretary Juan Ponce Enrile and then-Colonel Gregorio Onasan during the presidency of Corazon Aquino. So far, Villa Ignacio has been silently helping the prosecution. When exactly the public will see some action from him in the impeachment court is a matter of speculation. Are you overruling me? Yes. <laughs> but many will be curious to find out whether the man who convicted the president will be able to do the same, this time to a Supreme Court Chief Justice. Carmela Fonbuena, Rappler.